Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Minigame Monday, where I am going to be working on this. So I asked you guys if you had any suggestions as to what game I should work on. Got nothing. Kind of thought that that would happen, so I already thought ahead. Um, and pretty much I'm going to be working on this. The micro battles. Mostly because I think this is going to be probably the easiest one to be able to work with with you guys so that way you can kind of see like the building process um the other ones are going to be a little bit more complex or boring the boring one is going to be the building game because that's just a lot of replication duplication not much creativity going on there it's already set in stone what i gotta do and it's going to be kind of boring to kind of watch uh, so hopefully most of that I'll be able just to do by myself uh, while I'm re recording that. Um, and then over at the blockyard, it's a lot more complex. And I'm almost worried that it's going to be a little bit hard to follow. Just because of all this residue down here. Um, honestly, the circuitry isn't all too bad. But there's a lot of redstone trickery and stuff like that and... Yeah, if you don't know redstone all that well, it's uh, it's definitely going to be a headache. Um, so let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid kiss. If you've never heard that before, you'll never forget it. And that was taught to me by pretty much every single one of my high school teachers. Let's kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, so basically, this is by far the easiest game. Let me see if this looks okay. Um to work on with you guys. Let me see. Eh. Maybe. Let me see if it let me see if it's worth it on the outside. Uh get the stone back over here. Still getting used to coming back to controller. Um I don't know that it's worth it. really really don't know if it's really worth it yeah we'll do it we'll do it but I reserve the right to change my mind later or if anybody says that it looks ugly but the only reason I want to do that is it kind of makes the door stand out a bit so that way you can kind of just to give a little bit more um, in depth as to where the players are coming out of uh, so we're gonna have yellow team be there that black team I want to say yeah, because, yeah, red's over there. So that's black team. That is cyan? I want to say this is cyan. Let me see. It's either going to be cyan or blue. I imagine it's blue. Yeah, that's definitely blue. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can sleep really quick. Um, actually, I think I have, yeah, I have a bed in here. We have two beds, actually. Come on. It is nighttime. And it, up oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Uh, I will make one adjustment. I will put last bit of yellow right there. Okay. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change my opacity right now because that's going to bug the hell out of me. Oh wait a minute. Graphics. Yeah, there we go. Interface opacity. We'll change it to. Yeah, we'll just take it all the way up to full. There we go. Um, so, pretty much, this is what each of these main start rooms is going to be like. It's basically going to have two beds uh, the chest, the wooden sword, four apples, and one set of armor with your team's color. And then another chest basically duplicated over. So, basically, you can have two people on a team since there's a max player limit of eight people per map um, and I believe that goes through all the consoles I don't think that they up the player count on any of the other consoles might be wrong about that but I don't think that they did so pretty much you could have two people there two people here uh, two people there two people there and yeah rest is history and you're gonna freaking battle each other to death um, so basically I want to make 
I want to try and make one to the lobbies with you. And then we're going to start in on the redstone. The redstone is going to be pretty simple. I mean, a lot of this is going to be um, just duplication, really. Like, I already have this one over here, so basically I can just copy it over and be like, one, two, three, four, um, including the floor. So it's one, two, three, four. So see, it's already ready for me to go. Holy crap, that cat is wired today. I don't know if you can hear that cat, but he is just running everywhere today. Okay, and, and there he goes again. And then on top, it's just a single layer of sandstone, just like so. And this is where it gets really, really boring. It's just, it's the same thing over and over and over again. But then when you get the final product, it all becomes kind of worth it. Um, too wide with a four. Okay. Too wide with four, meaning that this wall will come out to right there. And then, bada bing, bada boom, boom, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, boop, 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 ba doop. If that cat knocks something over, I'm going to kill it. If any of you want an orange tabby cat, you just message me. Um, no, not really. That cat's, that cat's freaking awesome. Except when he freaking knocks crap over. Um, yeah, this goes all the way out to the wall. It goes up. Yeah, that goes to there. I hate that my headset keeps turning off for some reason. So if you, if you hear clicking, that's what that is. Uh, let's go and get... Get some glass. So yeah, let's go and talk a little bit, shall we? About what? Yeah, let's talk about this weekend. It's been hell. Freaking hate Memorial Day. Really do. It is absolutely the worst weekend ever for people working in grocery stores. And you want to know why? Well, okay, actually, I shouldn't say everywhere. Some people probably have it easy on these holidays. And the reason for that is Lakers. And this isn't the Los Angeles Lakers that we're talking about here. We're talking about... Um, okay, it says 100. Uh, we're talking about Lakers as in people who like to go to the lake. Yes, these people exist. Um, and they exist around my area. And what they do is they have like big cookouts and stuff like that right around this time of year. Um, and basically just have huge gatherings where basically everybody busts out their best recipes and basically go over to each other's houses and party. And then they might go out on the lake occasionally, uh, whether it be for fishing or um, just cruising around on a pontoon or something like that. And it is also the time of year when they go to the grocery store because you have to have the food for all these occasions. So we get hit extremely hard. Um, and honestly, it's not a bad thing because without this type, without this time of year, our store would probably not exist. This is the time of year uh, when the majority of our business actually happens. But dear God, having, let me think. Okay, actually just this, just this week, I think we did about 600,000 in sales. I, I want to say 600,000 in sales. Now that's not pure profit. That's just saying that um, the money spent on us was 600,000. That doesn't take into account what we actually had to pay for the product, uh, electricity bill and stuff like that. Um, that just takes into account the fact that um, that's how much customers spent at our store, which is an insane amount of money. Um, you take the average check or bill is probably going to be roughly maybe a hundred dollars, 
I would say on an average, actually, yeah, probably about 100. Um, what did I say? Flip lever when ready? I want to say flip lever when ready. Um, but these guys, I swear to God, flip lever when ready. Exclamation point. Um, so I can't even do the math of what that really works out to. 6,000? Yeah, I think it's like 6,000. Yeah, easily. that We had easily that many transactions. Um, and you take that over to course of, a, of approximately three or four days. About Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those were some of our busy, busiest days. Uh, typing and talking at the same time is very difficult. <laughs> Flip. Lever. Exclamation point. There we go. Now we can continue. Um, so basically, what was I? Um, yeah, so approximately 6,000 transactions. Take that over the course of three days. The majority of it, though, is between Friday, Saturday, um, and I haven't gotten the numbers yet for Sunday because I was just today. Um, I'll be getting those numbers tomorrow. Uh, but my department alone, ooh, that's not the right placement, there we go, um, did a huge amount of that. We, I think my department did 18% of that. And when it comes to uh, my department, I'm the sole person working in my department. And considering I'm, I'm accounting for 18% of all the sales, holy crap, that's a lot for one guy. Um... Now, 46%, roughly, I can't remember the exact numbers, but 46% goes to just like a regular grocery and stuff like that, which is a huge number. Um, but they have a team. They have a very, very big team, substantial team, that works together on uh, completing that task. But when it comes down to me and Derry and a uh, friend who is in Frozen, we don't have a team. We have ourselves. That's it. And it really does suck because um, that's a lot of stress on us because of one little slip up and um, there's really nowhere else for the blame to go uh, except for us. And it really does suck because sometimes you things just happen like, um, oh, our milk sales. I, I would say that would be probably the best example. Also, we're switching over to doing the redstoning now, by the way. Um, the milk sales this year were astounding. Absolutely <laughs> terrible is not the word for it because they were actually sales. Um, what's the word for it? Annoying? Yeah, I, I guess annoying would be putting it lightly. Um, it was just really, really annoying because we have our sheets from the past previous three years. Keep track of all of our numbers and everything like that. And then you get hit with, apparently, uh, a huge spike in increase is what we had this year in sales. And, dear God, we ran out of milk so damn fast. It was ridiculous. And then who has to deal with the angry customers going, oh, where's my milk? I need my milk. And then you just got to go like, I'm sorry, old man, but we don't have that milk today. You should have came sooner when we had the milk instead of waiting on your wrinkly old ass. And waiting. And waiting. And waiting like everybody does. Like, I mean, if they had come one day earlier, uh, we could have gotten more, in short. But these people decide to wait to the point where we get screwed over. That is the annoying part with this whole thing. Okay, there we go. And gate. Very, very simple and gate. Get rid of all that. Um, uh, basically... 
I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't know. Do you guys really need explanations for some of this? I would imagine anybody watching would probably know the redstone stuff, but just in case, uh, pretty much what this is doing is it's checking this signal right here and this, sig this signal over here, uh, making sure that both of them would be flipped, and then it'll uh, basically just give the output signal as a negative. At this point, I don't know. I could. I reserve the right to reverse that like right now um, just because I, I figure I'm probably gonna do it later so might as well let's just do it now um, so basically once both of them are active now uh, once both of the levers are flipped it will give out a strong signal um, and then the other thing we have to do is we have to add a we have to add a button over here we'll do wood uh, for two player or uh, two chambers three chambers or four chambers you can't do it solo um, well you could technically but it would be kind of pointless to do a solo unless you just want to explore um, I don't know. What would you really cut and consider them? They're not really chambers, are they? They're more quadrants. Quadrants is a big word. Um, I think more simplistic. Hmm. Just call them a section. Yeah, we'll just call them sections. Two section. Okay, so long story short, um, about the whole Memorial Day weekend, it sucks for grocery stores like me, where we are, are um, where we are next to a lake, and we are basically just nothing but a tourist attraction. That's pretty much all we are, really, and it's annoying as hell. But. It's whatever. It is whatever. So two sections, three sections, or four sections. Um, and then basically what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, because we need to grab signals off of each of these. There, there, and there. Yeah, yeah, it's on that one. Oh, and I lost my sandstone. I'm going to double check this because I don't want to stop this whole... Yeah, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Alright. Uh, so the point of this is we're basically going to dispense some items into a dropper. Do we want to do dropper? Yeah, we'll do drop. I think we'll do dropper. We might do comparator, um, but we want to get the majority of the redstone down, localized into this area. That way, if there's ever a redstone issue, we're not flying all over the place. Just simplifies things in the long run. Uh, so boom, 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 and now we can just drag the signal across. And okay, so basically, here's how it's going to. Okay, actually, too far. Let's cut it back to right there. Seems good. Um, so basically, if there are two active, what we want to have happen, um, I think I might want. I think I want this inverse actually. Oh God, dang it! Didn't mean to delete that. Meant to delete that. I'm an idiot. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. And replace, replace, and drag the signal. Um, so basically, here's what's going to happen. Is we are going to 
add a signal here and here. And here is why. Oh, wait a minute. Here and wait, is it here? No, it's further up ahead. It's I think there and there. Okay, I'm an idiot right now. I'm having a stupid moment. Okay. One, two. Okay, wait. Matt. Mmm. Okay. Nope. Okay. I gotta think. So what we want to do is we want this to always activate every single time and activate the um, the dropper, and we want it to drop into another dropper. I think. Okay, so. Um, we want it to face downwards. How do I crouch? How do I crouch? Okay, screw it. I'm going to make myself a platform because I can't remember how to crouch. Okay. There. There. Nope. There. Nope. There. Now that should be facing up. Um, so basically what we want to do is we want to have the signal come in here. That's going to give a signal that's basically saying, hey, they selected the chambers. We, can, we are good to go. We're good to play. So uh, what we'll be adding in there, I will get to actually here in a second. Um, so basically what we want is this signal to also come in and to come in again later. So we want to hit once, have a two-time repeater, um, need my iron blocks, and do that, but then again, also over here, we need that, and that. And the reason for that is if we don't have this one in this one here, it'll basically just create a clock. So this and this being here kind of prevents it. This is just here to counteract uh, that extra additional tick. So over here, we are going to go ahead and drag the signal over. Do I want to drag it over to there? Because that'll give the immediate tick, the second tick, and then we need the fourth tick, which will be delayed like so. And then I believe, I believe, scratch that, I hope that this is going to work. Um, we're just going to drop some swords in here. Basically, we're just going to count how many swords drop, and then we'll adjust it as such. So, okay, fine, be that way. I'm going to drop the button up here, you little douchey douche. Up there, and there, and there. Okay, so, hit it once, and okay. So... Another addition. We want it only to go there. And why didn't that drop? That should have dropped. I think. Is there anything down here? I'm being the reds now. Uh huh. No, just for, just for the hell of it, we're putting a hopper. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, clear redstone signal going in. 
And all of them went. What the hell? Okay. Uh, let's let's do a dispenser. Maybe dropper's not the way to go. Let's see, dispenser, dispenser. There you are. You little bugger. Because that shouldn't have been releasing pulses. I'm kind of, I'm really, really confused by that. Okay, now, okay. The hopper's sucking him. Okay. All right. I'm stupid. <laughs> and that's the joy of working on this map, is you figure out all this little stuff. Um, what the hell? There's something on my roof. Clawing on my roof. And it stopped. Okay. I have I have I have goosebumps. That was a little bit weird. I'm not a, I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Stuff that happens at night, I swear to god. Oh, nothing like living out in the country where no one can hear you scream. Um <laughs> That's the way to think. That's just a way to think. Alright, let's try this again. Enough with worrying about something that doesn't be panicked about. It's probably just a chipmunk or a squirrel or something that wants to eat me. Um, one. What the hell? God dang it. Do I... Hmm, do I... I think I need a dropper and a chest now. I swear to God, I'm going to figure this out. Dropper and a chest. What, what time am I looking at? Oh, I'm almost done half an hour. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Uh, so as soon as we figure this out, uh, I'm going to be ending the episode. Dropper. Because I don't want to make this so long that it will not be up in time for tomorrow. I'm going to be very, very strict. I do not miss a day. Um, and really quick... Actually, I can do that from right here. I want to make sure that this will drop a damn sword into the... Mm, it won't. Okay. So what do I need to do? What am I missing? That is a dropper. Wait. So it's not a dropper, is it? It's not a damn dropper. Did I have a... Did I place a dropper? Please tell me I placed a dropper. Please tell me I'm not more stupid than I already am. It's gonna work now. It's not gonna work now. What the hell? Really? Really? Okay. I'm confused as hell. What the hell? I know the answer is right in front of me, and someone's probably screaming it. I could, I could lock, I could lock these hoppers. I don't think that's the best idea. I could have sworn, though, I could have sworn that this should have worked. Sworn. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not giving up on this yet. Let me drop it. 
Maybe you just can't drop from above? I'm, re I'm really reaching now. I really don't think this is going to fix it. But hell, at this point, it's worth a shot. Chest down. God. Dang it. Okay. Where the hell is it aimed? Up? Okay. There. To there. Put a sword in. Hit it. What? Wait. Wait a minute. Really? Are you freaking serious right now? Are you? Mm, that makes me mad. That makes me really mad. I swear that should work for aiming from above. I swear that should work. But no, it has to be from the side, really. Okay. Whatever. I don't make the rules. Okay. Uh, let's go and try it. One single pulse. Now, as we've seen, it works. Alright, so now let's try the double pulse. So this time when we open it up, it should have three in it. Uh, that definitely will only have two. Yep. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is the delay was definitely not right. Let's go and add that. Um, and let's go ahead and add some more. Yeah, let's try that. And we'll just look at the far repeater. One. Does not turn off. Only going to be one. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go and refill this. So. There's not really enough room here to, to add a pulse shortener. Basically, we just need more repeaters. One, two, three. Um, we're just going to focus on this number two for right now. One. Nope. Pulse still goes. All right. Fair enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Let's try three pulses. Wait. Oh, it's because I didn't have it connected. There. Um. Okay. We need to move this now. Ah, I'm looking at the clock. Don't look at the clock. Don't look at the stupid, stupid clock. Um. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna. Yeah, we'll just create it all the way out here. Because I don't want to have to rebuild it again. Okay, so we have that. We have that. Fill it up with some swords. Great. So now we test it with three. No. No, of course not. Oh, wait. Wait, that time it sent two, didn't it? Yeah, that like, last time it sent two. But why didn't it do it the first time? Okay, I'm really confused as to why that happened. Um, whatever. Whatever. That should do it. Should. I should jet. That should definitely add enough delay. One. Yep. Second one went through. Uh, let's double check it. Yep. Okay. 
perfect four as we should have expected so basically we just need to double this so we need six to come out off of this signal so we need one two three four five and six and we will actually tack on an additional one over here um, just for safety with this the time isn't really a huge factor so this is not that big of an issue god that's a lot of repeaters but all necessary um did I, wait did i refill it no i did not one two three all of them should be empty it should be empty upon hitting this one two pulses ah no 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 damn it okay we add that so we got the two pulses perfectly hopefully adding that last one will do it one pulse two pulse three pulse should have all three gone yes we do uh, let's go ahead and hit it one more time just to make sure one pulse two pulse three pulse awesome so basically what this is going to do is we can now need one more in there um, is we can grab the very very confusing to me comparator and what can we do with the comparator you ask well I'm going to show you because as you can see by this right here one two three um, what the comparator will do is with every single time I'm gonna go and actually put some more well, actually I don't have any more swords okay clear out the inventory because I'm gonna be calling in an episode here in a second anyways um, so let's go and add more swords put the button so basically every single time that we press this boom additional light uh, then we're gonna have four Wait a minute. oh okay yeah there we go um, so basically whoa wait a minute wait a minute okay all lights are on one okay two okay three ooh ooh okay mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. we have to add another one we have to add an additional pulse now we already know exactly what we need so this isn't too bad to set up now um, so basically we need one two three four five um, six seven eight nine ten sure two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven and I believe that should do it let's see set all these to max three one two three one two three one two one one two three 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 okay everything is maxed so basically what should happen is we should get the additional signal out to get the fourth in here so let's make sure we have four actually let's go ahead and make sure there's five in there just just for the heck of it um, let's go and try it out there's the hoping one two three wait what oh I'm an idiot okay uh, huh it's gonna come back to here okay I'm not so confident that's gonna work now uh, but we'll we'll give it a shot 
Looking at the far repeater. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. Boots will work as well. Um, we'll just come over here and we'll watch the lights. We should have the third turn off. Yes, we do. There we go. So what I can use by doing this is I can now understand which one the user selected. I can choose to. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm going to pull one of the torches over here as a reminder for me for next time I get on um, to use that. Separate the signals a bit. Um, so basically, I can now see whether the user is selecting the first one, the second one, or the third one. And if none are selected, then the game I can tell the game, hey, they never, didn't select anything, uh, don't start. They need to select how many players there are. Um, and then depending on the AND gate, I can go ahead and uh, determine the different combinations for players. Uh, for different sec sections, that is, or quadrants, whatever the heck you want to call them. Um, and then basically I can just use all that information and get the outputs that we need. It's just all about collecting the data, figuring out um, how to get the data, and then once you have the data, it's pretty easy to configure what you want to use and have operate with that data. That's just all, um, that's just all of what you have to do with redstoning. And although this looks like a mess, and it probably could have been done a little bit simpler or um, a lot more compact, this is pretty much as simple as it gets, and that's what I want. Simpler means less lag. That is pretty much what I've diagnosed with this thing, um, with a lot of the redstoning in Minecraft. And keep it simple, stupid. So that's what I'm doing. Um, also trying to make it easy to follow along. And you guys can come back and watch these if you want to edit your own like if you want to come back and edit something, change the timings and stuff like that. Um, kind of like a video walkthrough of this. Um, but with the addition of these last couple of torches, I'm going to go ahead, save, get out of here. Um, actually, I need to I need to check something. Are there torches on this wall? There are not torches on this wall. I'm going to add a torch there in that corner. Just because I feel like... I want to prevent mob spawns, and it looks a little bit dark. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. If you made it all the way to the end, dear God, congratulations. You listened to me ramble for, what is it now, almost 45 minutes. So uh, congratulations. You don't get that 45 minutes back of your life. Um, but if you enjoyed it, then you're welcome. Hopefully you come back for next week. Where we will continue work on this most likely. Um, that's the plan. Is to come back and probably work on this a little bit more. Hopefully I'll have the rest of the uh, spawn points ready. But other than that. That is going to do it for this mini game Monday. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you guys back here next Monday. And I will see you guys. Later.